Hello everyone and thanks Francesca for joining us in this episode of Westwood Conversation. My name is Valeria Meliadò. I'm the Senior Sustainability Fabric Researcher for Vivian Westwood. My job is sourcing fabrics for the ready to wear mainline and making sure that the selection we make has the least impact on people and planet. I'm also founder of Talk Act, a community that aims to share steps and tips on how to live a more sustainable life. Today I'm here with Francesca, Marketing Director of our denim fabric supplier, Berto. Yes. Hi Valeria, hi everyone, and thank you very much for having me and uh, my company in this really interesting conversation. Just a quick introduction to Westwood Conversations. So this series of events aim to give you a look inside the Westwood world, showing you our daily challenges, opportunities, and introducing you to the people we work with while doing our utmost to make choices that impact less on our planet. This episode is the number two of our series, and you can watch our first episode on YouTube and IGTV, where myself and Kelly Dalton, in collaboration with Fashion Revolution, speak about the importance of knowing how your clothes are made. So Berto is one of our denim suppliers. We have been working with Berto for four years, and from autumn winter 20, we introduced a new denim fabric called Pianeta, made with 65% of recycled cotton. So Francesca, please tell us a bit more about Berto. So in Berto, we produce made in Italy denim fabrics. And for our company, made in Italy is not only a style issue, it means Italian production chain, workers, and territorial respect. In fact, from the beginning to the end of the production, we pay close attention to all our choices in order to produce sustainable, made in Italy, denim fabrics. In order to do this, we try to follow every day the philosophy of the five R's, respect, reduce, reuse, recycle, and repair. Unfortunately, the textile and denim industry is one of the most polluting, more than uh, um, international aviation and shipping combined. Overall, the denim industry anyway uses a huge amount of water, chemicals and energy, starting from the cotton production to final treatments and consumer care. But there is a way to make more responsible choices. So we need to start from the first step, which is the material choice. Usually denim uh, has been made with 100% uh, conventional cotton. But cotton is the world's dirtiest crop due to its heavy use of pesticides, water, CO2 emissions and land use. In fact, it's a very delicate uh, subject for Vivian. In Vivian Westwood, we are doing our utmost to replace cotton with eco-friendly alternatives such as PCI cotton, recycled, organic, where water and chemicals use are much less than conventional. Just to give you an idea of the amount of water that we use in conventional cotton cultivation. So, in India, over 100 million people do not have access to safe water. And a report from Soil Association in 2014 suggested that the water consumed in India's conventional cotton cultivation um, is, could have been supplied water for 85% of the country, which is 1.24 billion people with 100 liters of water every day for a year. And regarding pesticides, the World Health Organization estimates that between 1 and 3% of agriculture workers worldwide suffer from acute pesticide poisoning with at least 1 million requiring hospitalization each year. Yes, in Berto we try to find all the typologies of cotton that are cultivated in the right way. We choose BCI cotton. BCI means Better Cotton Initiative. It is a not-for-profit organization that aims to make glo global cotton production better for the people who produce it, better for the environment it grows, and better for the sector's future. So BCI teaches to the farmers how much water use, how much pesticides use, and how to do the right soil rotation. In Berto, we use a lot of organic cotton, and this cotton is different from the conventional because it is grown without the use of chemical pesticides, and it is grown with the right soil rotation. Finally, it is manually harvested. The third typology of recycled of cotton is the recycled cotton. 
The fabric chosen by Vivian Westwood is made with recycled cotton. First of all, this fabric has one of the highest percentage of recycled cotton inside, 65% of recycled cotton. We have to put inside the fabric a little percentage of standard cotton in order to give to the fabric the right strength. The second special thing of Pianeta fabric is that the recycled cotton comes from the regeneration of our own waste of production. We try to find a way to recycle it, to give it a new birth, and thanks to our supplier, that is Marche Fidi, uh, that wash it, soak it, they destroy it in, in some way, and they transform it into a new yarn. Marche Fidi um, does this process with their certified process called Ecotech. So, using this yarn that is recycled and then producing this fabric that has got inside 65% of recycled cotton permit us and also permit to Vivian Westwood that buys it to have savings in terms of water of 60% and in terms of chemicals of 40%. In general, there is also a 50% of savings in terms of CO2 emissions. 20% of all freshwater pollution is a result of textile treatment and dyeing. I highly suggest to watch a documentary called The River Blue, Can Fashion Save the Planet? where Ursula de Castro, which is the Fashion Revolution founder, uh, mentions that there is a joke in China. So you can guess the trend color of the season by just looking at the colors of the rivers. And a report of Greenpeace in July 2018 called Destination Zero says that some of these hazardous chemicals released in these multicolor rivers are already known to cause cancer, disrupt our hormonal systems, pollute our seas, and in some cases ending up in the food chain. So mercury, lead, copper have been all found in the water. That water that people that live close by textile company rely for drinking, buffing. So some of them reporting rushes, some of them even says and believe that uh, all these chemicals bring to infertility. Greenpeace has been doing a great campaign launch in 2011 called Detox Fashion. And this was a woke up call for all the fashion industry and it made a totally transformation in the clothing industry as well. And Francesca, we are very happy to say that Berto decided to join the Greenpeace Detox program. So please tell us a bit more what that means and all the other certifications that you have as a company. We signed in 2016 but this commitment um, sets a really strict standards uh, in terms of control of both the inputs, so what we use inside our production, and also of the outputs, so all, all that we release in the atmosphere and in the environment. In order to be credible, uh, the commitment is based on three fundamental principles. The first principle is zero discharge of all hazardous chemicals. Then the second principle is the prevention and precaution. So even if we are, are uncertain about a chemical, we have to eliminate it. Finally, the right to know. This means that brands and their supply chains uh, need to be fully transparent and they need to public disclose information. We are talking a lot about water and chemicals. Perto's process uh, is innovative and sustainable because we reduced the number of tanks and we also reduced the speed of the machine. In this way, we can have savings of water, of chemicals and also of CO2 emissions. For the Pianeta fabric also, we are using a special finishing machine that works with the ozone. This machine is by Genealogia and needs 85% less water with respect to a standard finishing. It releases into the atmosphere less 32% of CO2 and it uses 50% less chemicals to, compared to the old standard processes. 
we talked also about the other certifications, GOATS certification meets all the standards during the whole supply chain, so from the beginning to the end of the production of the fabric, the cotton, the indigo, the chemicals, and also the location in the warehouse is controlled and approved by GOTS. All our recycled fabrics are GRS certified. GRS means Global Recycled Standard. Pianeta Fabric, used by Vivian Westwood, is GRS certified. And it works like GOTS. So you need to have all the process from the beginning to the end that is certified. Finally, we have the OECOTEX Standard 100 certificate that guarantees that the products do not contain or release substances that can be harmful to human health. After the fabric is made, uh, water, chemicals and energy are also involved in treating the fabric to achieve uh, some special look, for example, the distress of the vintage look. And that can be done through some blasting, stone washing, chemical or laser treatment. Particularly, some blasting is a controversial technique that luckily is no longer as widespread. It was restricted in Europe a long time ago because it can be extremely damaging to workers if they don't use uh, special equipment. Uh, but uh, some companies have outsourced this production to unregulated regions to get around uh, these European restrictions. But there are now encouraging signs, so a lot of companies are developing new methodology and new, uh, new techniques that can save water, chemicals um, and energy. For example, the laser technology that can repli um, replicate localized distress look without the use of water, chemicals and stones. Or for example, as uh, Francesca was saying, the ozone treatment that Related to the final garment gives a cleaner look and in addition it may be used to replace the traditional bleach with chlorine. And all these techniques have been used in Vivian Westwood in autumn winter 19 uh, through our uh, manufacturer based in Italy uh, denim service in Vicenza. Jeans are tough. There is a reason why they were originally made for miners because they can take a little dirt, so we don't need to wash them all the time. If you go to the Levi's website, you can find a lot of different tips for uh, understand when is the time to wash them and how to avoid washing and maybe use other way. For example, just hang them outside for a few hours and this will fresh them up. Or spot the mark and clean it, tapping the spot with a damp cloth. Or soak them in a bathtub with water and a little bit of soap. So washing them every 10 times they are worn instead of every twice reduces the energy and uh, water by 80%. Also Mad Jean, they give a lot of suggestions on how to take care of your denim. They say wash them inside out and put a bit of vinegar. They will keep them looking new even after you have uh, worn them a few uh, times. Uh, regarding uh, materials, as we already said, choose uh, fabrics such as BCI cotton, recycled goats or also hemp and linen could be a really good choice. And as Vivian said, please uh, avoid overconsumption. Yes, Valeria, the suggestion that I would like to give is to think about the price of the item of clothing in front of us, especially if the garment is made of denim fabric. So when we go shopping, if we find a pair of jeans with a low price, we can imagine that something wrong happened maybe during the production. Maybe the fabric and or the making is not so high quality, so the garment will break or ruin in a short time. Or during the value chain, working conditions were not safe enough, or minimum wages were not respected, for example. Of course, we have to force ourselves buying less and buying better. But in any case, either if the price is low or high, ask brand for transparency. If they are transparent, it means they have nothing to hide. This is what is doing Vivian Westwood, for example. This is what we want to do in Berto, to tell you everything about our fabric and about our production. So, as their supplier, as a supplier of Vivian Westwood, we are really happy about this, about this conversation, and we are proud to share with you all the info about our fabric making. 
Thank you, Francesca, and thanks, for Berto, for offering a, a product with a low environmental impact. If you want to know more about Berto and all the information uh, Francesca gave us today, please go and check their website. You can find everything there. Uh, if you have any suggestion information, uh, you want to give it to me, please get in contact with me through, you can find me on any social media or Instagram. If you want to know more about the textile industry, you can watch our last video uh, with uh, Kelly Dalton on our YouTube channel. And of course, follow Vivian at a Friday speech on climaterevolution.co.uk. Um, we will soon release another video, so please stay connected with us. And uh, please, as Vivian says, buy less, choose well, and make it last. And anytime you make a choice, remember that what's good for the planet is always good for the economy. Thank you.